All right, so there's this Reddit thread asking um, how to put details on a sphere. I actually didn't know how to do this, so I spent all the time kind of messing about. But anyways, this is what we're going to try to get, or at least this uh, ability of adding surface details on the sphere. This render looks like it came from a direct modeling program where they used a height map to displace this. You can kind of see a little bit of like jaggies from the, the height map on these slight angles, um, which, which makes me think that this was just a displace um, like modifier on top of a sphere. But anyways, in Fusion 360, we're gonna do this using a sphere from Create. I'll just create that at 100. And that's gonna be the base size of our sphere. And I'm gonna turn that off because I don't wanna see it. We'll create a second sphere. And this is going to be the um, height of our surface details. So if the base sphere is 100, I would like this to be 102. Now we will create an offset plane, and it's going to be 102 divided by 2. So we want the radius of the sphere, um, so 51. And that should be right at the um, right at the, the top there, which is. We'll create a sketch on that. And now we want to make sure that we sketch within the bounds of um, the circle. We essentially are going to kind of project this down onto the circle, but we're not going to use the project to surface. So this is actually going to be, um, I guess, uh, let's just do 102 and 102, if that's right. If we zoom in, no, that is not right. Maybe it's 101.5. 1. 5. Now it is 102. Yeah, it's got to be 102, I think. Uh, Fusion 360 is just playing some tricks on me, right? That makes sense. Uh, yeah, it's kind of degraded it. There we go. So now we can start sketching on here. So I'm going to turn this body off because I don't care about it. Oh, my dog is going to bark here for a second. Make sure that we can select all of these. I'm just going to delete those because I don't, I don't want to deal with them. So the surface details here are like a bunch of tracks and weird shapes. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time doing that because it's super tedious. Um, but essentially, it's it's going to be stuff like uh, like this shape. Uh, some like long rectangles. Just copy this. Date it. And we'll create a couple more just boxes. It's whatever. Um you kind of get the uh the idea here. So now these will be the surface details. So the next thing we need to do is we're actually gonna loft them down. So we'll select loft, and then we want to select one of these profiles and go down to the point here. This is where it gets tedious. You have to loft every single one of these surface details to this point here. Uh, so you might want to bind it to a key, uh, but just do it to all of them. Make sure you actually select the point down at the bottom. Okay, so now we have our two spheres, right? One of them is bigger. So we want the bigger sphere and just these, these surface details, right? So body one was our small sphere, body two is the big sphere. So let's grab the um, combine tool and the target body is gonna be the sphere and the uh, tool bodies are gonna be the little surface details and we want these to be intersect. So now we're left with just these little surface details. If we turn that other sphere on you can already kind of see the effect we're getting um and to kind of cheese the effect uh all around instead of creating the same thing um on multiple sketches we can just use a circle pattern right and then turn that off
And it looks like we didn't get the total angle right. If we go back to this sketch, let's actually go add sketch. Oh yeah, we didn't get close enough to these sides. So there's like a gap. We just grab this guy and let's go to uh, scale. We should be able to down from the midpoint. To scale those up and hit OK. Finish sketch. There we go. So now there's like less of that kind of weird gap. Um, OK, back to a uh, circular pattern. I'll we'll select this guy and access it around uh, X. We want a total of four. Hit OK. And now we can just take uh, the combine tool once more and we will combine uh, target body of the sphere with the tool bodies of all of our surface details. Fusion 360 is probably going to lag and complain while it figures out what it's doing here. And then we go to join. Hit OK. We're left with a single body here, which is pretty neat. Um, if we turn our construction plane back on, we can uh, actually we can just do it right here. We don't need the construction plane. We can make one of those uh, little like turret dingies really quick. So if we just do like kind of a rectangle there with a uh, Do a little arc. And we can revolve that around that axis and just do it a join. Right? So now you get that kind of uh, pill looking thing. And if you wanted to, well, actually, if we didn't do a join and we just did new body, we could. Uh, could grab the move tool and then we can make a copy. All right, we could like rotate it, shove it in other places. All right, hit OK. And then again, we'd grab the combine tool and then just join all of these down into one body. So I hope that kind of makes sense um, to get as fine of surface detail as they have here, of like how small all of these are. You're gonna have to sketch all of those. Might be easier to do that in. Um, some software and import it as an SVG, but you still have to loft down every single profile, which kind of sucks. Um, but that's how I would do it. There might be other ways to do it. Um, I think Fusion 360 is just overall the wrong tool uh, for something like this, but it is doable. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.